As a remodeling contractor, there's been countless times that I've go to small jobs or maybe I'm, I'm banging out a punch list item where it actually takes me longer to get all of my tools out of my trailer than it does to just do the job itself. Pneumatic nailers have always been one of those things that I've dreaded grabbing out of my trailer. Grabbing a heavy compressor, the nailers, unrolling that long hose, and then re repeating it at pickup, it always seemed to be way too much work and time on small jobs. So I went to cordless, cordless gas powered nailers. They helped me bridge that gap. And because of that, I leaned heavily on pass load gas nailers for many, many years. So cordless nailers, look, they have their drawbacks. They're slower firing. Um, they require regular maintenance. Cold temperatures affect them and the cost of the cartridges amortized over the life of the tool add up a lot. There are very few cordless framing nailers that are battery only uh, powered. And Hitachi has one of them. It's the NR1890 DR. And that nailer, well, there's two of them, they can handle from a two inch to a three and a half inch nail. Um, I looked at the 21 degree plastic collated. It fires a full head nail. I love that. It's code here in Massachusetts. But they also do a 30 degree paper collated nail. And uh, Will Endicott, part of our TBB crew, reviewed that. So Hitachi does these nailers with an air spring drive system. Basically, it uses compressed air in a sealed cylinder to fire the nail. So here's how it works. At the factory, they install 72 PSI, 72 PSI of air in the piston with the piston lowered. Once the tool is turned on, once you actually deploy the tool, the brushless motor drives the piston up and that compresses the air in the cylinder to almost 120 PSI. When you pull the trigger, when you actuate the trigger, that compressed air is released. It drives the piston down and boom, it strikes the firing pin with the same force as a pneumatic nailer. Utilizing this sealed compressed air results in zero ramp up time, allowing you to install up to two nails per second. The cool thing is that the nail, the nailer is always at the ready, meaning that when you fire this nailer, the fastener is installed and the zero lag time, it's ready to go again. The piston is automatically reset. Um, one thing I noticed is the recoil on this nailer is very similar to a pneumatic. Um, admittedly though, it is heavier. So it's around 10 pounds with the 3.0 amp hour battery. And when you compare that to the Hitachi Cousins, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely a heavier nailer but it is balanced and ergonomically it feels okay. I got used to it. I used it for four months on a, on a big remodel and no issues. The construction of the nailer, it's plastic, seems well made. Um, all of the parts had tight tolerances and the overall construction was solid. Um, let's talk about the control panel. Right near the handle of the tool is the control panel and you can power on the tool. You can also change the firing act actuation from sequential to contact bump fire. You can check the battery life, remaining life of the battery there as well. The controls were intuitive. Um, everything was really easy to operate. I didn't even read the directions. It, you just, it's so easy. To power the tool on, you press the on button for about two seconds, powers the tool up. Uh, a single push of the selective active actuation lets you toggle between sequential and bump fire modes. Um, this feature, by the way, in particular, is so easy that it helps me forget about the days where, of the complicated trigger swap outs and the other crazy stuff that we used to have to do. Um, both of the Hitachi nailers, plastic or paper collated, they come with a rafter hook, four and a half inch hook swivels out of the way when you're not in use and it can be mounted on either side of the tool which accommodates right or left hand users. Um, look, until recently, Hitachi never included rafter hooks on their nailers. And, and I think they, 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 mentioned, they mentioned that Stafter recently when I talked to them a little bit about it, it was due to liability issues. We personally believe that all nailers should have rafter hooks or a, a hook or something to hang it on. And we appreciate that, that Hitachi has, has made the effort to include it on these nailers. Um, tool is depth of drive right at the nose of the tool. Uh, easy to use, it worked well, it was reliable, and you could really dial in your depth of drive. Um, let me see, what else? 
An automatic power shutdown is included in this tool and that saves the battery life as well as safety. So after 30 minutes of inactivity, the nail shuts down automatically. Uh, took a little bit getting used to, you, you pressing the trigger and wondering what happened, but overall the positives, they outweigh the negatives. It's a good safety issue. Um, another safety issue is a built-in um, switch, a safety switch. Um, so look, if you pull the trigger, if you hold that trigger in and you do not depress the, the safety nose on the tip of the nailer, within two seconds, the nailer will not fire. And in order to reset it, you gotta release the trigger and pull it again. And I think this is a great safety feature, I do. But let's not forget real safety, and that's finger off the trigger. When you're not using the nailer and you're not gonna point it, it's finger off the trigger, it's laser rule, it's all that stuff. Also, there's, a, um, there's actually a lock on the handle, much like a, a, a firearm, where you can actually lock the, the nailer off so it will not fire. Um, on either tool, you'll, get, uh, you'll only get one strip of nails loaded at one time, and then when the last nail is fired, boom, the tool locks out, letting you know it's time to reload. Hitachi claims that their cordless framing nailers will fire as many as 400 nails on a single charge with the included 3.0 amp hour battery. Um, we used the tool for several months on an interior partition framing remodel and also a very large uh, addition. Um, I wish we had two batteries because when the battery died, we went to pneumatics. But um, we felt that this would be the perfect environment to test the tool because we were using it all the time. Uh, we also had record low temperatures which did affect the nailer. And, and like our pneumatics, we had to place them in front of our job site heaters before, while we were setting up the job site to get the nailers to warm up a little bit. Um, so look, runtime, we got about a half a day with heavy framing use, and we got a full day with occasional use. Um, not bad, really not bad. As far as, I, I think you need two batteries though. If you're gonna use this thing, you need two batteries. As far as improvements go, we found the rafter hook was awkward and obtrusive. Um, just a little bulky. We also hate that it only includes one strip of nails. That's all like 37 nails or something. I'd love to see Hitachi extend the, the, the magazine so that we could fit two strips. But overall guys, don't get this confused. After using both versions of the Hitachi framing nailers for several months, four at least, we can confidently say that Hitachi has introduced a tool that is going to revolutionize the market. While not a true replacement for pneumatic nailers yet, particularly for production framing, clearly, my crew and I, we found ourselves more often than not grabbing the Hitachi nailer to do stuff for many tasks. It was, it was just so nice. Nailing hand cut uh, jack rafters, uh, bird mouth notches, um, places where hoses notoriously get snagged and where nailers, where these nailers really shined. Um, as far as punchless items, small framing remodels, stuff like that, the Hitachi nailer can completely replace a pneumatic. We also love that we were able to install full head nails to meet our local codes. Massachusetts wants full head, co uh, full head nails on code. Um, so I can honestly say without hesitation, we recommend this nailer to any user who wants a portable, powerful nailer on a battery platform that doesn't take gas. It also doesn't take, uh, cost you an arm and a leg to get invested. I'm Rob Robillard. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment. I want to hear what you think, what you feel about this nailer, and don't forget to subscribe to the video. We'll see you soon.